Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another uh, Game Builder Garage tutorial. Today we will be making a jetpack. This has um, been requested a couple of times from a few people. Uh, we're going to just make this real quick uh, and hopefully it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's get right into it. So uh, we already have our third person camera here. Um, if you guys want to know exactly how to uh, make this third person camera, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave a, uh, a little thing uh, to the link to the camera video that I have um, to show you an in-depth video of this. But um, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the actual uh, jetpack mechanic. So what we're going to want to do first is um, we're going to go to objects and uh, we're going to go to uh, teleport object and we're going to get our entrance out and we are going to get our um, exit out as well. Uh, so we're going to actually go ahead and connect both of those to our uh, player or to our person node on. Uh, for the teleport entrance, we're going to go ahead and click on it and uh, we're going to go ahead and for teleport what? we will be selecting our person because uh, we want it to teleport our uh, person, of course. Um, so we go ahead and select that. And uh, for our teleport exit, we're gonna go ahead and go into the settings and we're not preserving any sort of physics, so we're gonna be resetting them. And for our launch speed, um, since this is a jetpack, we're gonna be going up. So um, we're gonna go ahead and make the launch speed let's say uh, 20 for right now, we'll, we'll test it out. Um, but let's go ahead and see that. And um, we want to put a input press for our jetpack. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get X. Um, you guys can obviously change it to whatever uh, button you desire, but for this tutorial, we will be using uh, X. So if we go ahead and go in the game, um, you can see that we have these boxes um, around us. These are the um, entrance and exit um, teleport node-ons. Um, but if we go ahead and press X, you can see that we are uh, going upwards. But it looks like it's a little bit too fast. So I'm going to go ahead and um, change that a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and try to change that to like 10 maybe. Let's go ahead and see what 10 looks like. Uh, it's still going up a little fast. Um, We'll go ahead and try, like, three. See how that works. Okay, that's about right. Um, you guys can mess around with it depending on how um, powerful you want your uh, jetpack to be. But that's pretty much, uh, like, the actual mechanic itself. It's very similar to the uh, dash mechanic, except we're going upwards. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, do this a little step further. Um, so I'm going to actually make the... Um, jetpack object on the player's back. So if we go to simple objects and get box, we can go ahead and take that box right here. And uh, I've already done the uh, calculations for the size. So I'm just going to go ahead and input those. You can copy them if you feel like. Uh, we're going to take these off. And for the connection point, we want to make sure that it is uh, Z minus and center because it's going to be on our back, on our player's back. Um, so Z minus, center, and then for the size, um, X equals 0.20, um, Y equals 0.50, and then Z equals uh, 0.20 as well. So go like that. And uh, what we could do is uh, directly connect this to our person node on. So if we go ahead and actually we can also change the color to red just to not make it the same as our person node on. If we go ahead and look in game, we could see now that we have a red box behind us and it, you know, you can definitely make it look more like a jetpack, but um, I feel like this does the job um, as well, at least for right now, you could change it though. Um, and then I think I want to add uh, an effect to uh, the jetpack itself. So it looks like we're actually um, getting some distance. So what we could do is if we go and go into the uh, special objects effects, we have a lot of things to mess around with. Um, the best one I found that works is the smoke. So if we go ahead and take smoke and um, we can go ahead and connect the smoke effect to the X. So whenever we press X, the smoke effect will happen. Um, and then if we go into the settings for the smoke effect, 
uh, we want to change the effect timing to um, while not zero because we're going to be constantly holding um, the X button. And then the effect location obviously has to be in world because it will show up on our camera. And for the last step, uh, for the connection point, it's going to be on the bottom of our uh, jetpack. So we need to go ahead and change that to Y plus and uh, Y negative. And we need to also attach it to our jetpack. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that effect to our jetpack um, just like that. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. And um, you can make it as, as big and small as you want. I'll go ahead and show what it looks like right now. Um, so if we press X, we now have a smoke stream uh, that looks like we're actually going up in the air. Um, I think it looks really cool. And you can also um, change that by if you increase the size of the smoke effect, then it will increase on here. Um, you can you can definitely mess around with this and uh, really get creative with it. Um, the only annoying thing about the effect is that there's no way to uh, turn off the sound. So that that's one thing you're going to have to uh, try to, you know, find and mess with around. Um, the, the actually the appearance that I like the most is uh, bubbles just because it's the uh, least sounding uh, effect and also it's kind of like a, a cute little version of a jetpack. Um, we can make it really small and if we go ahead and look in the game, um, we could see that we have little bubbles coming from uh, our jetpack. Um, but let's go ahead and just remove those white boxes that we have around our character. So um, if we go into our teleport objects, we can turn off visible like that, visible there, and then our effect node on also has a box around it. Um, and if we go ahead and look in the game, we have uh, no boxes around us and we have our jetpack on our back. And of course, we could fly with it. Um, that's pretty much it for the uh, tutorial. I, I definitely want to make a uh, a second video of this on how to make like a gauge and and to basically have like a cooldown time so you can't just hold it indefinitely. But uh, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, I know this was pretty quick, but I wanted to be as straightforward as possible. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, catch you in another tutorial. All right, bye-bye.